Some fans of Disney's Frozen aren't ready to let it go uh, because a new hashtag has been trending, which is hashtag give Elsa a girlfriend. So some fans are saying that since uh, Frozen was a very progressive and seemingly open-minded uh, movie and has in many ways become a rallying cry for some in the LGBT community that Elsa should be coming out later in the Frozen sequel, which has been announced as gay. It has been pretty divisive, though. Yeah, I, you know what's interesting, but it was only progressive in the sense that for the first time in a long, what well, was the first time? For, for the one first of the, time what, in forever. Right, for one of the first times, one of the first times in forever, we see a female cartoon character not pining over a guy. That's that, actually I was, something I was going to bring up. I was like, I was, I was like, really? That's progressive for 2016, but maybe in this world it is. I, and I also was, the funny thing is when I first saw this, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking, ooh, girlfriend. <laughs> I literally was like, oh, give her a girlfriend. Give her like a fun, sassy girlfriend. Like, yeah, like give her like her little like girl, like squad goals, like Taylor Swift squad goals. And then I thought, and then I saw that it was like an LGBT movement and I was like, that, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Like did not expect that. And I don't know if Disney would go for it because of I what we talked about the would, other story. because Frozen is an extremely profitable venture yeah. for Disney and it became a smash hit breaking all expectations it huge swept the box office Everything. swept awards swept critics I loved it uh, but one thing I really did love was that Elsa didn't need a man mm. and we didn't have the the ultimate crux of the story was uh, her love for her sister. Her, the true love that they meant was for her sister. Mm. It was a sister's thing. Mm. It was not about posing two women against each other. It was about their love for each other that ultimately Family. saved them. Yeah. And I, I loved that it wasn't around a love story because every single one has a love story. And I think, I don't, I'm tired of this. I want to be able to look, well, look up. I want people to, I'm a grown woman. <laughs> I want people to be able to, or younger girls to look up to a princess and be like, you know what? She's strong in her own right. She yeah. started off scared and insecure and eventually she found herself and embraced herself and became great. And I want people uh, to grow up that way. I want them to think I can be great and I don't need to lean on someone and I, I can be a fully realized person on my own. Right, and if you wanna be with a woman, you can. <laughs> you can be single, you can be with a man, you can be with a woman, sure. you, can, you, can, you can be with a man and then a woman and then leave them both, you know, we're open. You can do it's whatever little, you want. Oh my God, the parent council, I can hear, I can hear their, their heads exploding now. <laughs> well, some of the people who were um, opposed to hashtag give Elsa a girlfriend did say that this seems uh, they were against protest. They were against this on the grounds that Frozen is a children's movie and it's a, not That's an a appropriate argument. vehicle. That's a weak argument. To though. take, yeah. but that is a weak argument because there are sure. LGBT families yeah. and there's probably uh, a lot of LGBT people in you know families that maybe don't accept it yet. Right, and it's, right. it seems like the perfect place to take a stance. I, I just. I don't know, would you like to see a gay Elsa or, or how would you imagine her? I don't know about a full on gay Elsa because I think then you might be, you know, heteronormal, heteronormalizing mm -hmm. a gay relationship where it's like you need someone to complete you. I yeah. do agree that we should be introducing more LGBT characters in the media in general, uh, but I would like to see Maybe I don't know. Maybe like a gay sidekick or like. Well, a some gay people right. in the first one read it that way. With um, there was remember the guy who owned Olaf the, is gay. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wandering Oaken who owned the the store in the beginning. And oh, really? The sale. And he said, "Oh, my family's in the sauna, and we see a man and some children in the sauna go." Ooh, ooh. That's hilarious. And, I didn't know that. And people read that as, "Oh, it's a gay family." You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Disney did that because Disney is known for dropping red herrings into their films, especially mm -hmm. like in the old school days with all of the, you know, like the topless person and you know, Rescuers Down Under. Oh and yeah. The, and, the, and like the sex in Lion did King. That on no, that's not a thing. That's SFX. Whatever. Which is special FX, which looks like, okay, you're going to read it that way? No, you're fine. I know. <laughs> well, well, we'll look it up on Snopes. I think I did read that. I think that was someone's, like, internal shout-out to their company, right? Mm -hmm. SFX. 
or uh, their department. Right, but that, but so that wasn't as uh, you know randy or scandalous as we thought it would be, but it still was a red herring, right? Mm -hmm. It was like a little inside joke. Toys, uh, Pixar does it all the time with that that little number, the little license plate. Oh, right, that right. They put that in was referring film. to the uh, Cal Arts classroom. Right. That's in so many movies. Right, actually. right. And in fact, I think it's in every single one. It's, so it's a little. It's, it's beyond Pixar, though. Right. Like, Cartoonists love dropping that in. It's fun. It so is. you know, maybe they can start doing it with the little gay stuff, right? Where it's like a little, little glimpse, a little flash. People are like, wait a minute. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if the guy who owns that, if that was his family. He did <laughs> say like, hey. Well, you know, we're, that's adorable. We're having a sauna. I think that's great. And it was really cute. There already is a gay character in Frozen. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's something that people are certainly looking for, uh, for more representation of LGBT characters in a family setting. Though I don't know if it fits thematically in the story, there is also another level in which these characters can be great role models. Audience, what do you think? Should Elsa be shown with a girlfriend like the hashtag suggests? Let us know below in the comments. And please like and subscribe for more.